There are good guys and bad guys in Star Wars, but they need a way to decide who's better. So let's use cars. In this video, we'll be facing off the dark side versus the light side, giving each minifigure a car and then having them face off at the end of this video to see who's got the better collection. Starting with the classic 501st Trooper, or maybe a car of them. I think the best car to give them from my collection is the Ford Dark Horse Mustang. Because you gotta love a good American muscle car, but they're all too common, just like the 501st. Consistent and great. Although now it seems like they're fighting over who gets to drive it. The Palpatines, and I'm not talking about the disappointing one, I'm talking about the Chancellor and the Empire. I gave them the McLaren Formula One cars, because what's a Bricks and Kits video about a little fun and goofiness? So I gave the orange one to the Chancellor, and the blacked out one with some blue coloring to the Emperor. But what about a classic Ford versus Ferrari, red versus blue? We got Obi-Wan with his classy Ford GT, and Andor with his nice 812. Now the famous e-tron of a giant engine, that totally doesn't make sense, is driven by the man Bosk, who's as wild as this car is, and giving him a gun that's illegal with a cut-off end of it is just a great design detail. The Ahsoka from the TV show has a nice silver style to her, so I was going to give her Ghana Utopia, which is one of my favorite cars, and it's got great little silvering details with a dark gray color scheme. It's one of the cooler cars, and I've just made a new model of it that I'll show you next. A Mandalorian figure straight out of my childhood with cool katanas, a nice blaster, and a and a laser shield to go along with this Pagani recolor I made in light gray instead of dark gray, which looks really smooth and has taken a windshield and headlights from a Mercedes. Now for my final two minifigures before the show off, this epic Jedi Master, which I made back when I used to make Lego Star Wars content, who's got a double-sided lightsaber, an electric shield, and a nice backpack, as well as this colorful, fun BMW, which has a great front grille, yellow lights, and a nice blue and red color style. But who's gonna stand up against him? None other than the powerful Darth Vader with his McLaren Solus GT, which is often referred to as a spaceship, and I don't blame him for how cool this thing looks. Darth Vader will be cruising around the race courses and tracks like he's a boss. Now let's organize the teams. And here we go, the dark side in all its might. Quite a ragtag bunch here. We got some orange, some teal, some silver, some red, oh, and a giant engine, and a legal blaster. But this crew is ready to take on the light side, so let's hop on over and look at the light side. And here we go, the light side. Colorful yet classy. We're really leaning into the heavy American muscle cars and Italian supercars, with the Pagani being Italian and the Ferrari obviously being Italian, with the oddball, the German race car, and the GT3 BMW. But do you think these cars fit these minifigures? Let me know which side definitely won in the comments below. Are you a light or dark side fighter?